Ruiz clan. They left none alive. God rest their souls. I'm needed at home to make yet another fruitless attempt to impress my betrothed family. Show more grit than you're showing me now, and they may start to like you. Yes, sorry, I'm just shaken. If you joined us at dinner, that might ease their minds a touch. Think about it. My doors are open to you. What did he want? I didn't listen. What the fuck does he want? My presence alone won't sway the family of your intended bride. That's work you must do yourself. Yes, yes, you're absolutely right. I'm merely hoping you might provide me with perspective. That I can do. Wonderful. Visit us in Elmham whenever you have time. No, it's but... worse here than I feared. <laughs> I should not be seen in this area. Everyone's dead. <laughs> Do I have to turn the beam off? A healthy seeming town. This Oswald has done well for himself. Look there. Alone Dane. Can't trust that. Shh. Be kind, yeah? As Christ would command. What did you say? Oswald, where is this dinner you promised me? Eivor, you came! Dinner will still be served, but I'm afraid you are too early. My intended and her family are not ready. This intended of yours, Oswald. Who is she? One of love or politics? Her name is Valdis, <laughs> and people don't marry for love these days, Eivor. This is an arrangement for East Anglia's benefit. She's from a Dane family whose military might is not to be trifled with. But her brothers, their motives are selfish. Why don't you ever look around and come back later? Dinner will not disappoint. Oh. Is it the bride? Well, this? I swear I'm never listening.
This place is heavily guarded. Going in the wrong direction. Okay. I must be careful now. No, everyone's dead. Still. A four. Try to keep up.
I supposed to do? Push people? Uh. Like they want me to steal. Can I eat this? Pushing you. Okay. How? Huh? Okay. This better be a good dinner. I meditated for this. Lords, ladies, this is a day of peace and fraternity. I ask you here to Elmenham to offer my thanks and extend my generosity. Finir, our steward, to our guests of honor, Brothir and Broder, and to my lovely bride to be. Valdis. You get to plow our sister because Halfton commands it. But you won't drag us into bed with you, you hear? Uh, bro, dear, that the is... last Saxon king we backed wasn't half as mushy as you, and we lost 150 men protecting his maggoty arse. Bro, dear. If you're going to be rude, then I must ask you to leave. This is my home. I won't be insulted here. <laughs> Is that why you come? To back the Thane who smells of goat shit and sheep pebbles? <laughs> I'm sorry, did you say something? Do I bore you, Wolf Kissed? Yes. I'm here to protect my clan. If that means helping your king secure his throne, well, so be it. <laughs> You'd be safer crowned with the throne. It's made of less wood than uh, this one. We'd all be safer if you had the stones to stand up to Ruet's clan. But between the pair of you, I can't see a single nugget. You watch your tongue, Wolf Kiss, or you'll find it freed of your face! So easily wounded by words. Imagine the ruin my axe would inflict on your... flaccid ego. My flaccid what? Please stop this! You heard me. That's it! Limp, weak, soft. Settle disputes in East Anglia. Really? Could have fooled me. 
That's enough fun for tonight. If that's all you've got, it's little wonder East Anglia's in the state it is. You are weak, sheep herder. Your Norse friend here can't change that. We are better off without a king. Well, that's me, Don. I think I prefer dream nonsense to this alehouse brawl. I have brawl. no idea how anything... What a works. waste of time and good mead. These brothers will never back me in my claim. This dance is just beginning, Oswald. Get some rest. You'll need your energy. And uh, will I see you in the morning? We have much to discuss, I think. I'll find a place to lay my head. But is it one hand on and Avon, uh, if you can help me right this situation, you'll have a strong alliance with East Anglia. That much, I promise. Seems Oswald has set out for the day. I should have a word with him. in the longhouse and wake my brothers with the coldest water you can find. Eivor, good to see you. Hi. You are Oswald's powerful bride-to-be, Valdis. I'm not his. This marriage is to be an alliance, nothing more. Besides, the man can barely carry a sword or speak with conviction. <laughs> Oswald is many things, but a gifted leader he is not. Still, of everyone I have met here, he is the only one willing to be responsible for the place. I will leave you to your day. You can find Oswald by the docks. And watching the river calms him, apparently. Good morning. Upright and early. You can labor like a thrall, but you're no good with feasts. Not a good start for a king. No, indeed. I find a solitary comfort in my menial labors. Not something a king should admit to, I suppose. The brothers shamed you at dinner. It's your duty to answer their insults. Don't let the matter lay unresolved. Oh, it was a petty row with henhouse wolves. I'd sooner answer the move a cow than worry about their insults. I have a wedding to plan and a kingdom to save. I haven't time to suffer fools. They betrayed your hospitality, Oswald. Where I'm from, that's a grave insult. Well, well. 
Here's the mud-soaked Saxon who's been taxing my patience. Ah, uh, Stuart Finnair. I know I failed to impress at dinner yesterday eve, but fear not, the Danes will come around in time. You stay claim to the throne, you dazed dog with no bone. If Lord Halfdown were here, he'd squeeze ale from a stone. Yelling, Finner, my dranger, stick this cur in the ground. All mewling and spitting, here's Finnir, the hound. He has back, but no bite, just a puppy I've found. <laughs> Are we sliding? What just happened? That's flighting, Oswald. Using rhythm and rhyme to lay a man flat. Try it, match his verse. There's no man you can lead, you dunce of the thirds. Um, what glutton you are, just stop eating your words. Not bad, not bad. He's got the wit of a boa, so when he insults you, make him feel stupid. When I'm done with you, cur, you'll be raven flock food. But your brain's soaked in mead, and your... Head's made of wood. Wood! Head's made of wood! Under all that tough posturing is a sniveling boy, so dig deep. When he brags, take a jab at his manhood. I've sailed squalls and north winds. You, not even a breeze. But the winds that you sail... Blow between both your knees. Blow between both your... Oh, you mean farting. <laughs> Come on, say it. He's an ugly puss, so when he brags, hit him back with something about his looks. I hail from the north, where the winters are season. But you're foul. You're a blister. You're a... a... Plague-ridden lesion. <laughs> oh, yes, that's very good. Plague-ridden lesion. Oswald, my boy, you're useless without your raven. This one's wrong for the throne. He's too soft and too tame. Go on, give some back. About his height oh, this time. You claim you're a Dane, but your bloodline is stained. A wee dwarf must have ravished your mum in the rain. Oh. Well spoken. Before sword clash and blood flow, we destroy our enemies with well-timed words. You have a talent for verse, I'll give you that. But how long will that silver tongue hold up against an iron axe? Let's find out, Finnir. I challenge you to a home game. You don't mean that, Oswald. As a fight to settle disputes, no? A home game. A fight to the death, yes. Let's talk it out, then. <laughs> Too late. The challenge has been made. But a fight against Finnir would not be anything to boast about. You'll fight me. Hold on, this is... That said... I should not be seen killing a Saxon in the streets of Elmenham. There's a nice islet down river, near Seahenge. The water will wash the blood clean away. Prepare the square, and we'll meet you there. I hope you're ready. <sighs> I have to be. Just give me a moment to mentally prepare. Do not make us wait long. It would not be kingly.
Mm, come on, this is boring. Why is everyone on a fucking island? Is this a dude thing? You made it. Now tell me. <gasps> Done. You still got the touch for drawing a square. I've been in East Anglia many summers now, but I'll always be a Dane. Must we do this, Eivor? Strength and courage are always a boon, Oswald. You'll need both if you want the Danes to accept you as a king. True strength comes from resolve, Eivor. But it they, speaks they to us, to a stern hunt. voice from within. Which I have never heard of talking guts, but a swift axe would silence that inner voice in seconds. You must be prepared. Wait, you're unarmed? And you should thank your god that I am. We will forge a king out of you yet. Don't hold back. It was a good strike. Keep going. I felt that one. I'm still here. the Danes to follow this pork belly? I'm... I'm still breathing, aren't I? Show me what you can do, Saxon. You'll never be king at this rate. Is this the best East Anglia has to offer? Yes, and I'll... I'll prove it! Come you on, to fight! fight. is the victor but you've shown us something oswald stay down oswald that's enough i will i will not stay down you fought bravely not with great skill but with spirit and courage always push back with everything you have even if you have to get dirty even if you must break the rules because there are no rules not if you answer a challenge head-on. That's where honor lies. Not winning the fight, but living through it. A seaside brawl won't change the brothers' minds. Oswald must show results. We dress old wrongs. Fight back against Ruid and his men. The raiders who attack Beatley have a camp down the coast. The sooner we remove them, the better. That would go a long way to building you up. And if you brought gifts for the brothers, spoils from the raid, they'd be in your debt. Time to wet your blade, Oswald. Eivor, I expect your longship crew could help with this attack. Okay. Eivor, lactum skiviti. No one has been willing to take a stand against Ruid's clan before. We're a kingdom of farmers and merchants. Even farmers and merchants can fight when led by the right person. I hope your faith in pig farmers is not misplaced, Abel. There is work to do, yes. But we will rise to meet Ruid's clan. God will make certain of it. Those! Fire! Trolls take you! I didn't know 
not expect to hit that. Hey, enemy forces stationed there. <laughs> we beat the raven this day. Well, Oswald, does the threat of death drive your blade further? <laughs> Whatever compels you, hang on to it. The sheer force of these blows, bones ground to a splintered, gory mess, north and strength at its finest. on to the old father's feast. Kill any stragglers. Nicely. Find something? There's a crate of hat silver here. More than enough to make everyone happy. We'll take it to the ship. A hard won fight. The first of many, Oswald. Have you the will to keep it up? Brothers, 
I have more than enough wealth in Elmham to widen their eyes, but this will be a symbol of my commitment to our fight. It's a good start. Take what riches you find to know the witch, then send for the brothers. I'll meet you there. I did hear myself because of the headphones. Swasi Bishop. That's silver, livestock, and a trophy from. No battle then to Dane would ever follow this lump of lords into battle. I don't care how many shields he brings me. You mean to say you refuse my gifts, brother? I don't Broder. have time for this. It's a generous offering, brother. You'd be a fool to turn your back. Refuse this and your shame will stain the name of your sons and their sons beyond. Stay out of this, wolf kissed. Take the gift. We have bigger problems. One of Ruid's men. Aye. Sniffing around the outer walls, looking for an easy way to slip a few dozen men inside. If there's one scout, there will be more. Something you might have learned if you kept him alive. I was passing water when he surprised me. It was either him or my plow sword. Where did you find this one? Just outside the Northwich Walls, by the water's edge. They'll be looking for points of entry to sneak a herd of raiders through. Jesus. Find another scout. We'll question him. I'll look around. The rest of you stay here and out of sight. If I find anyone suspicious, I'll bring him here. Ruid scouts will be camped near their boats outside the city walls. One of them will talk.
be my eyes soon. And... There. Looks like one of Wood's men. Wait, wait! What are you doing? I'm just... Stay down, Muckworm. I have some friends who would like to speak with you. Put me down! I tell you, I'm a cow farmer. Let me go, Dane. You said you were a pig farmer just moments ago. It, uh... It's not beyond reason. I tend to many livestock. You are as Dane as I am. Save your breath, liar. You are so What a handsome cat. Hello, friend of Freya. What's wrong? Hey, Nelly, come back, you snake! Here, little one. Hey! Again. Cats are free spirits, aloof and haughty. Like the goddess Freya. I know, but ever since old Cotter died, that old sea cat has run wild, scaring the chickens and scratching me. Ah. Ship's cats are good luck. Do you need help catching him? Oh, yes, please. Go, Sunan.
Did Ruid send you too? Speak now, and you may live to see tomorrow. Arger swine. I won't make you any friends here. A scolding like that is a mortal offense, boy. I killed the bastard. Don't give him time to act again. I'll ask once more. Why were you lurking around Norwich's walls? I came to pay my respects, Lord. To Oswald, the whimpering Saxon ergy of East Anglia. Tell him why you're here, and you may walk free with your head on your neck. Lick my tongue hole. Here is the tongue I use for licking. How does it feel against your ass? <laughs> when the braziers lit at Dunwich, Ruid and his men will rally. They mean to attack Northwich by its weakest wall. <laughs> you English Danes are soft as butter now. Ruid sends his blessing, lady. He'll see you again very soon. He may still be of value to us if he... Any man who questions your courage and feels no shame, that's your answer. I will not have blood spilt needlessly in my kingdom. This has to end. Alive, this man was a risk. Valdis, this man spoke as if he knew you. Ruid was my husband. Your husband? You're married already. Not anymore. I was. We've been apart for five summers. I never expected to see him here. And I never wanted to. East Anglia's prosperity depends on our safety and unity. With Ruid's clan stomping around, neither is possible. I must speak with him myself, man to man. There's no place for him in East Anglia. He must hear it from me. Right. I'll start looking for a new king tomorrow. What's good to know you, Lord? Ruid will eat your lungs for supper, Oswald. Steer clear of him. If I'm to be a worthy king, I must meet the man who bedevils us. I'll light the braze here at Donich, and face him when he comes. You sure you want to do this? Meeting Ruid in the open comes with many risks. It's the only way. We must face him head on, and we cannot waver. Come, Oswald. We make for Dunwich. And of course, I will see the lot of you there as well. Else the songs of your cowardice will ring out over the generations. I'm sure you're heading to Dunwich any moment. We'll be there, Eivor. You don't speak for us, steward. Need I remind you, Wags, what happened? Anglia falls into Ruid's hands. Feathers for a kingslaying. Touch not that throne! It was blessed by a priest, as were the arrows. These arrows are very lovely. Very lovely indeed. <laughs> Hello. 
Feathers for a king Got you, little mouse biter. Wow! Nolly hasn't let anyone touch him since old Cutter died. But he sure loves you. Do you want to join my crew, Nolly? You would make a fine raider, I think. Every longship needs a brave cat for luck. And for the rats. Looks like I have another raider.
Gruet's men tore through it. Is it a penguin? No. Dunwich. It is time to light the brazier. I'll light it. You do the talking. Ruther, Valdis, and I will scout the dock. Make sure there are no surprises. Oswald and I will hold here until the brazier is lit. The front gate is heavily guarded. You'll not be walking in. I'll find my own way. We'll be watching you back. Aid me, be my eye. <laughs> Done, witch. Now to clear out Ruid's men and light that brazier. Stretch your wings, Sunan.
My sincere thanks, friend. I need your eyes, my friend. Something's supposed to be burning, right? Oh, there.
Odin gives me a bargain. A few dead men at my feet in exchange for a ripe East Anglia, and my wife returned. What a day! You... I don't know you. You don't need to know my name. You will not have a use for it beyond today. <laughs> Who called for me? Was it you, Valdis, my love? Why would I call you now, after five happy years away from your stinking balls? I called you, Ruit. You, Oswald, the hopeful king of East Anglia, and Valdis's husband-to-be. Take your men and go. East Anglia is strong with Saxons and Danes united. It will not fall to raiders. <sighs> Must I set sail for Denmark with nothing to show for the journey, after coming all this way? You'll have my weight in silver. And an abundance of livestock and grain. I've taken ten times that already. What's the real prize? I'll make you an offer, Pigfoot. A home gang, just you and me, for the future of your kingdom. I accept. I accept. A fight to the death. East Anglia's the prize. Let it be heard. The hazel is laid! The square is made. When you see a chance, lead Valdis and the brothers to safety. They must not fight today. East Anglia needs them. Let me be your champion. No. He called on me. Whenever you're ready, King of <laughs> Sheep <laughs> I'm ready! <laughs> Breaking off. They've given up for now. A 
Let's put some distance between us. We can rest a moment. By Thor, he fought well. Raging like a bonfire. We should go back! Oswald may have survived. Ruid as well. It's possible. Ruid's men will press their advantage. We must be ready when they attack. We'll go to Norwich. Meet me there when you can. He died a hero. There's no doubt. If his god won't take him, all the sword women will. I'm gonna go to bed now. You wanna see my goodbye scene?